Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is the Hey Guru Carla, and I'm back with another video. So my client is here to get a natural hair done. As y'all can see, she has very thin hairlines, but she want to wear her own natural hair. She does not want any extensions, at least for a while. She says she just want to embrace her her natural hair. So. I'm here today. I'm going to blow dry her hair and we're going to try to figure out what hairstyle I can accomplish without adding any extensions to make it fuller or to cover her thin hairlines. So I'm about to, well, I already shampooed and deep conditioned her hair and blow dried her hair so now i'm gonna flat iron it using the beyond the zone heat protecting spray to protect her hair from the heat her hair is very fine so she does not need a lot of heat i'm trying to do the most two pass to straighten her hair and i'm still trying to figure out what hairstyle i'm gonna do and she's not helping because she said she's gonna leave it to me to figure out what to do with her hair without adding extensions. It's kind of like a challenge because it's not much that can be done with her hair being so fine and her hairline being so thin. But I'm going to try to do my best so y'all stay tuned in to see the final results. So I'm done flat ironing her hair. So I'm trying to ask her for her opinion of what kind of look you're going for. So that's why I'm doing the swoop. And now I'm going to try a part in the middle. I'm thinking I'm going to do her a low ponytail. But I'm trying to see how she wants her front fix to conceal her hairline. But she liked the side part better with the swoop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The middle part was going to hide her and her hairlines more than the side part, but she preferred the side part than the middle part. So y'all stay tuned in and see the results. Kind of a little difficult. I'm trying to do the little baby hairs on the side. So I'm going to do a low ponytail and the swoop. And I'm going to try to see as much as I can cover to conceal one side of her hairline. And the other side, I'm probably gonna do the baby hairs. But like she she says, she don't care about, she just wanna wear her own hair. She just don't want no extension. So as much as I can do, she appreciate it. So y'all stay tuned in.
So I'm done molding her hair, but since her hair is so thin, I saw some space, but I'm gonna go over and try to fix that. I think her hair looks kind of neat, despite she doesn't have any extensions in it. So I'm going ahead and add a little bit of braiding hair to the end. It's still a protective hairstyle. As I couldn't figure out what to do with the ponytail after I'm done molding it. And her hair is not as long on the end to do something else. So I'm like, it would not harm just to put this piece of braided hair in the back. It's extensions, but not the extensions she was talking about. This can easily be removed and it's still protective. So she doesn't mind that. It's 52 inch expression pre-stretch braiding hair. So I'm gonna add that to the back and I'm gonna give her a little twist ponytail. So I know it looks kind of tight, but it's not. I asked her because it looked like it's pulling where the rubber band is, but it's not, it's comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish twisting this little ponytail in the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix her swoop because it's thin and I can see some spaces in between. So y'all stay tuned in. So she has a little separation right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. And that will be the final look. I think it looks good despite how thin her hair is. And it looked better than I thought it would. As y'all can see, that side where the baby hair is at would be a great place to put the glue on baby hairs that they're wearing now. But she said no, not at this time. She's gonna embrace her thin side. She didn't want any of the glue on baby hairs. So she loved her hair and she wore it for two weeks. So y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all like my video, y'all can give me a thumbs up. And if y'all have a comment, y'all can leave it in the comment section. And thank y'all for watching my video. Until my next video, y'all stay safe and stay blessed.